Hey, my name is Akande. I'm a digital marketing expert, and I left MailChimp for Constant Contact. For more reviews like these, click the link below. So both these platforms help with just a common problem, which is communicating with our customer and potential leads. So reaching out to them via email has always been a powerful way uh, to do business and to raise awareness and also keep them informed. It's also really important for setting up transactional emails, such as purchase receipts, abandoned cart emails. Uh, it really just helps us solve that gap of communication when it comes to email. MailChimp's a really great platform for, I would say, small to mid-sized e-commerce stores. They have really simple tools that are really great and strong. Um, they have simple automations that allow you to follow up with customers, follow up with prospective customers, and drive more revenue for your business using email. And they also have other uh, functionality as well around SMS and things like that. Constant Contact's a really great platform um, with regards to email. It's really strong for email marketing. But they also have some really great tools that are easy to use from a DIY standpoint and building landing pages, creating forms, and setting up really basic online funnels. It's really great for small to mid-sized organizations that need to communicate at a B2B or B2C level rather than an e-commerce focus. Getting started with MailChimp or Constant Contact is really easy. They're very simple tools. They were designed with the user in, in mind, especially the user that's brand new, maybe to email marketing or email marketing platforms. I think they're both very simple to use, quick to learn, and are great for someone who might be doing an administrative job but needs to send out a few emails as well. I think a few of the top considerations to keep in mind when you're looking into an email marketing platform is who your ideal audience is going to be and what functionalities do you need it for. If you're looking to fill a gap for email marketing around e-commerce, that's going to be much different than if you need to send really specified small segmented list to people who are your patients or people who are your clients or even your students' parents, which is one of the cases that I've experienced. So I'd really consider what you're using the tool for, what you need it for, and how often you're going to be sending emails. Each tool kind of has their strengths and their weaknesses. And even another consideration might be how much training is available to brand new users of the tool. If you're walking into it cold, how much uptime and onboarding are you going to be able to get from either the company or available knowledge base to really ramp yourself up and get yourself familiar?